Shalom. In the previous video, we defined the logical data type and explored how logical data could be produced from relational operators. Here, we'll explore another way to produce logical outputs through the use of logical operators. There are four logic operations available in MATLAB, AND, OR, Exclusive OR, and NOT. The logic behind these operations is what you would expect from the English language. AND requires all input arguments to be true in order for the output to be true. For example, in order to get an A in a class, you must do well on tests and homework. If you only do well on homeworks, then only one input is true, and so the output is false, you don't get an A. OR requires at least one input argument to be true in order for the output to be true. For example, in order to get a C in a class, you must do well on tests or homework. If you only do well on homework, then at least one input is true, so the output is true, you do get at least a C. For exclusive OR, one and only one input can be true in order for the output to be true. The NOT operation is different in that it accepts only one input value. It then simply reverses the logic of that input. The symbol for AND is the ampersand, located on the 7 key on most keyboards. The symbol for OR is the vertical bar, located above the ENTER key. The symbol for NOT is the tilde, located on the top left corner of the keyboard. For exclusive OR, there is no special symbol. Instead, a standard function call is used by passing two logic values into the XOR function. For AND and OR, either a single or double symbol can be used for scalar values. The double symbol would be preferred because it is slightly more efficient. But if applying the logic operation across a vector or matrix, only the single symbol can be used. Let's see these logic operators in action. In the box are four defined variables. Try to predict the output of each of the seven operations shown here. Remember, the output can only be true or false. Pause the video and then resume when you have tried each one. Not A simply reverses the logic of A, so the input true now becomes false. A anded with B substitutes as true anded with false. This produces a false output because AND requires all inputs to be true in order for the output to be true. In the next examples, we see MATLAB's automatic data type conversion feature. We are passing in C, a numeric value, into a logic operation. MATLAB converts this for us into a logical true because 5 is the non-zero number. Now, A and C reads true and true so the result is true. The next one substitutes as true and true and false. Because there is one false input, the output is false. Looking at both of these OR examples, there is at least one true input to each, so the outputs are true. Finally, exclusive OR requires one and only one input to be true in order for the output to be true. Here we pass in two true inputs. As a result, the output is false. On this slide, we have examples of combining relational operators and logic operators. Again, pause the video and write down the outputs from each statement. The first step is to evaluate the relational operators individually. After that, we use the logic operator. Is C greater than 2? Yes, that's true. Is D greater than 3? No, that's false. So we have true or with false, which gives an output of true. The next example is the same, but with an AND operation. True ANDed with false produces a false. The key to the third example is the greater than or equal to operator. Is 5 greater than or equal to 5? Yes, they are equal, so that produces a true. Now we have true or with false, which gives an output of true. For the next example, we evaluate the arithmetic first. So d plus 5 gives a 5. 
Now, is 5 equivalent to 5? Yes, that is true. The not equal to operation can tie your brain up in knots, so feel free to write down each step. Is it true that 5 is not equal to true? Yes, that is true. Is it true that 0 is equivalent to 0? Yes, that is true. So both inputs to the AND are true, and the final output is true. These sorts of logic and relational operators will be critical to controlling branches and loops, as shown in the following videos.